Hey guys, welcome back. In the previous video, we were talking about event routing, where we use the Spring Cloud Stream and Spring Cloud Function routing expression in order to route our events or messages to the correct message handler. So, in the previous video, we used the application property and we used the property of Spring Cloud Function routing expression in order to create our conditions, okay, our logic which routes the events to the correct handler, as we can see here. So, in this video, we are going to see the other approach, which actually we are going to use the pure Java and Spring, of course, and Spring Boot in order to achieve the same result, okay? So, because sometimes you don't want to use Spring expression language, right? And you want to, for example, use pure Java programmatically, right? So, this is what we are going to do. So, in that order, the first thing that we need to do here is creating here a new, uh, let's say, our configuration package. In this configuration package, we need to create our uh, message routing configuration. Let's just create here a new class. Let's call it by message routing config. As we know, we are using Spring Boot, so let's annotate our configuration class as configuration. The next thing that we need to do for now, let me just create here a variable that will uh, that we are going to use in order to understand the routing key. Okay, the routing key, or better, the key. We are going to create a variable which will, for example, allow us to to manipulate. Okay, or to extract the message header. Okay, so for example, here we have this X event type. Okay, and as we can see, all our events, okay, have this header, okay, this, this key, and the value changes according to uh, the event that we are publishing, okay, or consuming. So in that order, let's go back to IntelliJ. So let's create here a constant, okay, and let's call it by header event type. Let's use the same header key as we are getting, okay, in the messages. X event type, this is the header that we are going to use in order to understand which event handler, okay, we are going to, to route the messages, okay, according to uh, the header type, okay? So in that order, um, for now, let's first create, um, let's, let's first create a, a map that will contain all our routing functions. So let's create this as a map, which will receive string as a key, and the value also will be a string, okay? And let's call it by, uh, for example, routing functions. So this is uh, the way that we are going to create. Actually, I think we can just for example, do something different here by, uh, let me, for example, using, okay, let's use it, let's use the new way, okay, of Java, which allow us to create very nice. So the key, for example, the first key will be, let's go here, let's see our event handler, okay? Uh, so the first key will be the key of the event that we are consuming. So if we if we go here and we can see, okay, the event type, let's say uh, this is the key, okay, of the header and this is the value. So the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to use, okay, for this kind of event here. So the event created, okay, we are going to, uh, we are going to route it to the, this handler, okay? So we are going to route it to this handler here. So, and let's keep doing the same, okay? Let's do the same for this other value here, okay? So when we get, let's suppose, an event, okay, of type email changed, okay? We are going to route this event, okay, to this event handler, okay? 
So let's put it here. So we just have here our, let me just put it here like this. So now we have here our map, okay, which is immutable, which contains our routing functions. So when we get this event type, okay, customer created, we are going to route it here. So how, how we are going to do this? Okay, so in order to apply the message routing or event routing, okay, using Spring Cloud Stream and Spring Cloud function, we need to create a bin or even implement the interface called a message routing callback. So let's go. So this interface, as we can see, let's take a look here, okay? This interface, just, just take a look guys and read a little bit documentation, but this interface, okay, will uh, actually do the same that we did here, okay? This interface, if we implement the logic, will do the same. So what we need to do with this interface? So let's just here, okay? Uh, return here, so let me just, um, yes, return this, and let's override this method here, okay? So we don't need the, the super one, and yes, this is where everything starts, okay? So the first thing that we need to do, I think, is we need to extract, okay, the header from this message, okay? As we can see, this interface has, for example, this method, okay? Resulting, uh, a routing result, okay? So in that order, let's just get the header, okay? And let's let's get the, the, the header, okay? Uh, the same header, okay, this even type, Okay, let's just get it here, for example, header event type. Okay, and yes, let's use the, the this header, okay. So we need to use it as a string. So let me just cast it as a string, okay. So now that we have here our header, okay, for now, let me just, for example, log uh, this information. So in order to log, okay, we first need to add the Lombok one, okay, the cells, uh, the cell for J, Lombok, okay, and then we can log. So this is the way that we are logging, okay, the header in order just to, to, to make you guys understand what we are doing here. So the next thing that we need to do is to say, okay, now we are going to use our routing uh, routing functions, okay, and we are going to get, okay, based on the key. So if we use here the header type, let's suppose the header type is customer created, okay, it will root to this handle customer created, which we have here, okay, which we have here, right? And also, for example, if the this header type okay, the value of the header type, okay, is, let's suppose, uh, email changed, then we are going to, 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 we are going to route it to the email changed, where we have email changed here also, right? So we could have here more event handlers or, or functions or something like that, okay? So let's keep doing. Actually, I think we can go a little bit farther and let's say, okay, get or default, Okay, so we are going to get or default or or better. If we let's suppose that we didn't uh, this the, the header okay uh, doesn't exist. Let's suppose that uh, we we don't have here okay. So we don't have here the 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 key. So the value will be let's suppose now okay. We are going to return a default value. So the default value we can just call it for example here as a noun event. So doing it like this, uh, let's call it by, let's suppose here, root, okay, two. So this is uh, the handler that we are going to root the event. 
so i think also we can just for example log okay let's just log here okay the event tool in order to to show you guys in the console and yes that's it okay we can just for now return okay the root tool okay just like this so let's just reorganize the code and as we can see this is uh, uh, as we need to have it okay in our uh, context so we are going to set it as a bin okay and ah, one more thing we need also to to for example when we receive an event okay that we didn't expect or doesn't exist in our configuration okay we can just for example say okay we are receiving an event that we are not expecting so we can ignore or or maybe do something with that okay but for now let me just so for now let's just put it as a noun event okay and then we can just for example return okay this is the message and yes that's all let's just log and everything is okay so we need to annotate it as a bin also so uh, i hope that everything is okay so now uh, what we need to do once we have here our uh, message routing config okay where we are uh, actually uh, implementing not not extending because you could extend for example this uh, interface okay you, you could implement this interface here okay but for me i don't like this kind of inheritance and for me it's better to create it here as a bin and the next thing that we need to do once we have here our routing callback and our let's suppose our event handler for a noun events i need to we need to remove okay for now let's just comment this property here and use the correct uh, property that will enable our routing callback so in that order let's use the correct property so i think everything is okay okay remember guys we just for example we uh, have removed uh, the, the the function uh, routing expression which we were using the spring expression and now we are using this spring cloud stream function routing enable which will enable okay this uh, functionality uh, for for us okay and then we create here our uh, message routing configuration okay so here we specify the kind of events okay that we are expecting and here is value okay we specify the kind of uh, let's say uh, event handler that we are uh, going to use okay so here you have the header value and the event handler okay the event handler the ones that we have here so let's run our application first the consume the consumer one okay and now let's run also the producer okay which is the customer microservice so the first thing that we are going to do we are going to create okay so the the producer we don't need to see the logs okay but here in the consumer we are going to to check the logs so let's first uh, just clear okay the logs and now let's go to the postman now that we are in postman the first thing that we are going to do we are going to create okay a new customer so we are going to create the customer and we are going to see with which uh event handler okay the routing uh function will root okay to okay so as we can see the first thing we create a new customer okay so we can see the header type is customer created where we specify this we can see we specify here okay the header type is as we can see customer created because we create a new customer and then it say that it's routing the event to the handle customer created okay as we can see in this line and it's using this one here okay this this one this one here customer uh, created okay so now let's do the same for the email change so let's go here and 
as we can see, first we, we had uh, Greg Young uh, old email, okay? And now let's put the new email address. Let me just see uh, the ID. Okay, the ID is one. Let's take a look here. Okay, the event type is email changed. Let's take a look here. The event, oh, the, the, the header type is, and we can see email changed, okay? And then it's routing to the correct event handler, okay? So as we can see, we have implemented the event routing, okay, using the uh, other approach, okay, different from the one that we were using the Spring Cloud function expression, uh, routing expression, right? So we are using now the Java one. So what happened here is when we consume, okay, an event, okay, of type customer created, we pass it to our uh, configuration, the, the, the message routing configuration that we just created, okay, and this will decide which, okay, which handler will use, okay, will, which handler will handle that event. So when we consume another type of event, let's suppose email changed, we pass it also to the, uh, uh, the, the, the message router configuration that we just created, okay, and it will decide which event handler will handle that message. So guys, hope that you enjoy, okay, this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And also you can, for example, play a little bit more, produce an event, okay, that you are not expecting and see if this consumer will work, okay? So hope that you enjoy, guys. Put some likes and don't forget to subscribe.